nachos in the lot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think cooking should be competition. As a, as a chef, I kind of take exception to that for some reason. You ever notice cooking is about crying on TV? I mean, they, they, their stuff doesn't come out and they cry. You know, it, it's not really that stressful. It really shouldn't be that important. Cooking should be enjoyable. Cooking should be your nutrition, what you give your family. It, it's not you fail and you're kicked off. I, I'm trying to bring cooking out of the living room and bring it back into the kitchen where you actually provide for your family, where you help them with nutrition, where you try and get away from these cheap foods that are making us less and less healthy. And the problem is that a lot of people just don't know the very simple simple ways to cook, just basic ways to cook, that they can use these wholesome ingredients because on TV you have to be a celebrity chef. You have to make pheasant and goose, and who makes goose and pheasant? I mean, come on, teach me. <laughs> right. Why does it have to be like this fancy thing? I'm Chef Todd Moore. My mission is empowering people to cook without recipes. They experience the freedom to cook what they want, how they want it. The confidence to take control and try new things. The health benefits of fresh, wholesome foods. And the family strengthening bonds of dinner time together, as well as the money they save by eating well. Live without rules. Cook without recipes. It's a no recipe lifestyle. But, but the, the thing is, it, it's entertainment. I mean, don't be fooled and think that the Food Network is teaching you how to cook. They're entertaining you and they're selling advertising space. You know, you're not going to learn how to cook on TV. No. You're not going to learn how to cook from a cookbook either. And that's really what I'm here to talk about today. I'm Chef Todd Moore. I'm from webcookingclasses.com. I teach people all over the world how to cook on the computer. So you get cooking videos every week and it brings you along on how to cook, not what to cook. This is the biggest problem for home cooks. It's not cooking. Cooking isn't particularly hard. It's following the recipe. That's the thing that is so frustrating to so many people. When a recipe says, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, well, what if I don't have the tomatoes? Well, what if I don't have this? Or I got to go out to the grocery store. People tell me all the time, I went to the grocery store and I bought a saffron or some kind of spice and it's two years later now and I still have that sitting on my shelf because I bought it for the one recipe. Recipes make you spend more money. Recipes make you overcook because it's for a certain amount. If you don't have that amount, you've got leftovers. Leftovers lead to things being wasted. So I'm here today, today to share my five chef secrets for creating amazing meals at home. The first chef secret I've already told you about don't trust recipes. Recipes are frustrating. When a recipe says one onion chopped, well, I've seen onions this big. I've seen onions this big. How big is this onion? When they say one onion chopped. When a recipe says cook by time, this is my favorite thing. When Martha Stewart says, do this, do this, do this, do this, cook for 20 minutes. How does Martha know? How does she know how thick my pan is? How does she know if it's made out of aluminum or stainless steel? How does she know how hot my stove gets? How does she know what altitude I live at affects how water boils? How does Martha Stewart sit in her comfy home and tell me what goes on in my kitchen? You tell somebody cook for 20 to 30 minutes, that's a 30% difference. What if you ask me for directions? Where, where's the store? Oh, drive three to five miles. That doesn't help much. That's too much of a difference. So when you don't trust recipes and you start to say, I can change the recipe, number two chef secret is knife skills. Learning how to use your knife correctly. And I'm going to go over this in about 15 minutes or so, the four knives that you need in your kitchen. This is a chef's knife. Using the chef's knife can accomplish most tools in the kitchen, most jobs in the kitchen. And it's so much better than any device that you can buy. When you can have a chef's knife, no moving parts, wipes clean easily, I'm going to show you the correct way to hold the chef's knife. I'm going to show you my tip fulcrum method, and I will actually be cutting blindfolded in about 15 minutes if you want to come see that. So knife skills is the second most important thing that you need of my five chef secrets. The third is understanding the transfer of heat. Cooking is not about your ingredients. Cooking is about how you apply heat to food. The fourth is stock your pantry. Buy salsa, buy samosa chutney, 
buy black bean paste, go to the international aisle of the grocery store and buy the little jars of things that you've never heard of before because they're flavors. And what I'm going to show you later today in Saute Like a Pro is this basic procedure for cooking a chicken breast that at one point can go any way. So if you get the pan hot first and you put a little fat in the pan and you cook the chicken breast, take it out and then you've got that nice kind of burnt on bits on the bottom of the pan. Well now, what if you added peanut butter and coconut milk? You'd have like a Thai thing. What if you added pineapple juice and ginger? you'd have like a Hawaiian thing. What if you added garlic and tomatoes? Then you'd have an Italian thing. What if you added black olives and Sambuca? You'd have a Greek thing. What, and it goes on and on, but it's the one way to cook it when you can go to your pantry and go, oh, some salsa, chicken with salsa, or oh, some uh, mint chutney, Indian mint chutney. Then you can add flavors to your cooking without having to make these sauces yourself. So when you stock your pantry and you have these condiments, these flavors, it makes it a lot easier to cook. The fifth of my five chef secrets is making sauces and we're gonna I'm gonna show you the three secrets for making great sauces in about a half hour but a, a bad sauce will ruin the worst piece of chicken <laughs> you know you cook a really nice piece of chicken you put a terrible sauce on there but a really good sauce could save a badly cooked piece of chicken and sauces come down to liquid and thickening agent you can take any kind of liquid if you know how to make it thick you can make a gravy. Those are my five chef secrets for creating amazing meals at home. I'm going to go over each of them. This is normally about four hours worth of cooking classes. We're going to bring it down into about 45 minutes. So right now, five chef secrets. Give me a few minutes to set up and then we're going to start with our knife skills. Uh, the only four knives that you need in your kitchen. And I'm going to do that in five minutes. Thank you for your time and attention.